welcome to another QuickBooks training moment with Steiner Business Solutions. I am Doug and today we are going to go over closing your books in QuickBooks. Um, at some point you may uh, close out a period whether it be a month or a year and you don't want anyone accidentally or willfully going back and making changes or adding new transactions to a closed period. Certainly once you filed your tax return for a year you don't want anybody going back and uh, affecting the revenue or the expenses for that closed period because that could require you to file an amended return so if you especially if you have multiple people working in the QuickBooks file you may want to close the book so people don't do that to do that you go up to edit preferences under accounting you choose company preferences and at the bottom you'll see closing date now right now you can see there is no closing date set so we're going to hit set date and password it's going to ask what date do you want to close it's going to close it as of a certain date and then no transactions can be entered prior to that date so we're going to say we're going to close as of the end of the year 2013 now it's going to ask if I want to assign a password if you don't assign a password then it's just going to give you a warning when you try to post a transaction into a closed period but it will still let you do it. If you assign a password, then the only way you can post a transaction is if you know that password. It's going to prompt you to enter the password. and If you don't know it, you can't post anything. So we're going to go ahead and put in a password and then we're going to run through an example and see how it works. Hit OK, hit OK, and then we're going to go in and enter a bill. Again, if a year is closed, the tax return has been done, we shouldn't be entering any more bills into the closed period because that would affect the expenses. So we're going to enter this one as of 11-30-2013 which is before our closing date of 12-31 and just put it to telephone expense. Now when I hit save and close it's going to bring up this message saying that if we post this it's going to modify uh, a closed period and could also affect previous financial reports. So now it's prompting me to put in the password. If I don't know the password, I can't make this change and post this transaction. If I do, it will still let me do it. So that's basically how it works. Um, you can go in at any time and change the date. So if you want to close every month, you can do that and just change this date every month. If you want to do it at the end of the year, you wait till the end of 2014. Uh, once you've finalized your books, you can go in and change this date to 2014, and then no one will be able to make changes prior to 2014. And of course, you can always take this off if you decide to at some point, too. So hopefully this is a, a valuable feature to you, and I hope this helps. Thanks.